So what you really want to do is, uh, after your potato are all ready, clean and smashed like that, then you put two eggs right in the hole in the, in the potato. Then uh, what you do is you put some salt. all around, because you didn't put any salt before, so you put it at this point. And then you start putting some uh, flour all around. And then here we go, the most fun part. Put your hand in and you make a big mass of potato. <laughs> and then the trick is to figure out when it is ready. Uh, and when you have enough flour, and that it's hard to do. So I'm going to ask uh, the, Diane to come up here and put pour a little bit more flour because it's still wet. And you will know how much flour you need because it should not be this wet yet, but it needs to be now too much flour either because otherwise your gnocchi are going to be too hard. So it's kind of a good balance between... Uh, it needs to be still soft, but not too wet. And then you work it, but another important thing, another important tip is to remember, not work it too much. This is not something that you have to do for too long, otherwise, again, they're gonna get a little too hard. See, now it's starting to come together, but still kind of wet. You need to have your hands all dirty like this, otherwise, they're going to turn out to be too hard once you cook them. So we'll put a little flour more. Not much, just a little. And we're going to put it on the bottom of that counter where you work. Because the flour is going to help you to get everything unstuck. Here we go. And it's coming together nicely. So, a little more flour. Um, on the counter. There. Two eggs are good for about seven pounds of potato. That's kind of what we figure out. So when you are at this point, you grab a knife and you start working one part of the time. Then you put a little flour everywhere because you're gonna start cutting your gnocchi. You see how fast it went? It was really quick. You don't want to do it longer than that. Then you make it long. Oh. <laughs> and then you're, you decide how big. I don't like a very big gnocchi myself. This is all what I like to. This is a little too big still. And then here we go. So you make sure that they don't touch each other because they're going to be sticky. They need to be sticky. As I said, otherwise, if they're not sticking together, it means that there's too much flour and they're too hard. So you keep on working like this when uh, all your dough, uh, potato, egg, and flour is done. Then uh, you shape them. You take the, the fork at the back of the fork. You take it in the back and then you roll it. Uh, roll it so that your gnocchi from little square become kind of a cute shape. And you do your, this is what they're supposed to. This is actually helping to grab the uh, whatever you put on, in this case, the sausage and mushroom that we put, that, you know, there's a little hole, so then uh, you, the sausage and the mushroom and everything, good stuff goes into the gnocchi. So you keep on doing, make sure they don't touch each other. Nothing has to be perfect, okay? No perfect. It's actually better if they are not perfect. And kind of do it this way, roll it, roll it, roll it and keep on doing. 